Using the thread gauge. Using the thread gauge may not be as common as the other tools, but for the more experienced salespeople that feel comfortable specking their own drilled and tapped or threaded axles, this is how it can be done. The thread gauge has two sets of measurements, one in metric and one in English. Metric are labeled with decimals, and the English gauges are all whole numbers. Using the thread gauge, begin to try to match a thread with your bolt axle. The teeth will not fit as shown here if it is not correct. The threads will match exactly if it is a correct fit. Using the calipers to measure the bolt outside diameter, place the forks on the bolt or your axle on an angle as with any other outside diameter. Make sure you utilize the flat part of the caliper teeth because the angled, narrower part will slide inside the thread giving an inaccurate measurement. As you see here, this is what it will look like if the calipers slip into the thread. Once you have your measurements, match them to the tap size charts. Once again, there is a metric and an English chart for referencing. Match the thread gauge measurements to the numbers to the right of the hyphen on the tap size. Example, 1.25 millimeters. Match the outside diameter measurement to match the numbers to the left of the hyphen of the tap size. Example, 0.385 inches. This converts to 10 millimeter. It matches up with M10-1.25 in the metric chart.